Okay, so this now costs 7%. If I make a copy of that, then these are both using the same memory because this is exactly the same as that. And the engine says, well, we don't need to rebuild two whole sculpts. We can just build one sculpt and use it for the the other instance. Um, however, if we go in and edit this now, and in any way, if I do that, now it uses its own load of thermo. So now it's added 8%. So this costs 8%, and that costs 7%, for what it, probably because this has more surface area to it. So be careful with that. If you make like a load of clones and stuff, that's awesome. But um, if you make an edit to one of those clones, then it'll become its own unique thing because it has to build this separately because it's got a different um, edit in there, a different shape. Um, now, uh, one way of um, making sure that you don't accidentally do that is to use the clone tool and turn on live clone. So now when you use R2 on something, so if live clone is off, use R2 to clone something as normal, but you don't have to hold uh, L1. But then if we turn live clone on, then when we clone something, this is now a live clone of that. And it will always, these two will always use exactly the same uh, sculpt. So if we go in here and edit it, you can see on the other one, it's uh, live, it's actually changing that other thing. So now that's costs a little bit more because we've added these cube shapes, but it it's still using um, the same amount of graphics thermo for this and for this because they both look at the same thing because they're live clones of each other. Um, you can uh, make a live clone not live anymore. If you hover over it, it says stop live clone with triangle. So now if I go triangle on that and then I edit this, you can't see a live thing going on over there, but it still uses the same graphics uh, cost. It still uses this um, this model, this sculpt. But now if we edit it, it becomes its own sculpt and adds thermo again like that. Um, this is actually how uh, the, the puppets work. So if you go and edit a hand, they uh, you can see them editing both sides. Um, this is because they are live clones. So if we go to the clone tool and then press triangle on that, now we can edit them separately. There's the classic example of building a brick wall and building it in a couple of ways. So now I have a brick and cloning is uh, doesn't cost you anything on the graphics thermo at all. Um, like this, and I can build a whole wall really quickly like that. Cool, and now I've got this brick wall and I'll just group it up. So this um, this costs each each object in here costs a tiny little amount of gameplay thermo because it has to remember where this is and it's um, its settings and such, which are free uh, once you have a sculpt. Uh, even if you live clone it or whatever, you can change the um, object. So if I live clone, uh, where'd I go? Yeah, clone. If I live clone this and edit it, I can still uh, change all, all of its uh, settings and that's just fine. It will still be a live clone. It still won't cost any more graphics thermo and it won't cost any more gameplay thermo. And it can even um, look very different. So you could, because this is a live clone, maybe you want to use looseness here. Um, so you don't have a loose version and a, a normal version. You just have the normal version and just increase the looseness. So that's useful. Uh, you could even have different flecks though. So if I make this uh, a streaky fleck, and make this green and now we have um, grass a grass platform and a stone platform whatever uh, out of the same sculpt 
uh, completely the same sculpt. It doesn't cost you anything more to um, make these changes to that version because it's all uh, it's all bundled in with the gameplay thermo. So all these settings and stuff are in the cost of the gameplay and the position and rotation and whatnot. All part of this gameplay cost. Um, but most of the time uh, it'll take you a long time to um, actually see a, a dent in this gameplay uh, unless you start cloning a load of objects at once. So this has 54 bricks in it. So if I clone this 10 times that will be 540. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 540 things for 5, 6% gameplay. Um, now if we make the same uh, the same wall but we use just one sculpt so now we have two walls that um, are pretty much identical they were made in a slightly different way so they look slightly different but uh, this one costs 6% on um, on graphics and uh, if we deleted all those then there won't be that one brick anymore so it will, it will remove that from memory so I'll go like that and that one brick costs less than 1% it seems however uh, those cost as you just saw those cost 6% gameplay and if I clone this the same number of times Uh, yeah, same number of times, and then delete them. Then this costs less than one percent on um, on gameplay thermo because it didn't even show up. So this is really cheap on gameplay, which means you can have tons and tons of these walls, but just one sculpt. So um, it's kind of a balance you need to figure out for your game and your uses of um, this brick wall or whatever you're making um, but there's there's a balance between uh, graphics and gameplay so I tend to prefer making a wall out of one sculpt to be able to clone it more times because it's a visual thing um, I, I don't mind it taking up more graphics um, but on the uh, on the other hand if you clone this a lot of times then it will cost uh, a lot more gameplay as you go on um, but it's a little cheaper on um, thermo and this is without like optimizing with the sculpture detail tool or whatever I'd like to thank Shadow of Callus, Bobby Love, X Cantaloupe and all of my other supporters for making this tutorial possible thanks for watching if you'd like me to continue making these tutorials and helping creators across the internet you can find out how to support me in the link in the description. Thanks for your consideration, and I'll see you in the next one.